Hi guys, welcome to our second episode of the My Pregnancy Journey series. So I'm Nadia Mukami. Yeah, them come here, boy. Allah. Allah. Enjoy. So on today's episode, we will be talking about uh, the second pregnancy mm-hmm. and how it has been. This is so exciting. You guys, you gotta know how everything turned up. How she sent me that, you know, message. Stop, Nini. You don't then, yeah. give us. Okay. Boo. So, I'll turn the you give us All right, let's go. Oh. Let's get it, baby. Let's get it. I realized I was pregnant for the second time. It's funny because <laughs> it's something that I my little Ashida Kidogo is. I'm not exactly sure. <laughs> hey, <laughs> that's Mr. Adam. normal. I'm Mr. not exactly sure of my days. I mm. swear to God. Mm. But I was six months pregnant, 28th of July. When did you go for tour? Uh, it was around uh, August, September, something. We went. It was when? It's uh, August. August, uh, August. September, September, 28th September. of August September uh, yes 28th of August I was 6 weeks pregnant so do the math I got pregnant in July and I got pregnant in Zanzibar <laughs> <laughs> Zanzibar Zanzibar but anyway to... how how did we get there first of all you know normally Where? <laughs> anytime anything <laughs> that happen what me block yana we don't talk no, he. What do I do to me? I need to my child. I was having a, a weird year, mm. and you know there was a lot going on. The doctor had said abstain, guys abstain, still azima. Mm. But when the doctor said abstain, it's when well. <laughs> we went to shoot <laughs> that I have video in Zanzibar, and the rest is history. It was come out that you come out here. Yeah, before, yeah, yes, yes. When, I think um, actually the weird part was when we went to that, we were going to the same trip, but Kilam Talika Airport Kiviake, I got to make a series. I was just petty. Um, Kilam, she, she's always petty. Oh, yeah, you were. Oh, sorry. Was man was man. sorry. You want to wrap it up? Anyway, no, uh, Kilam Talika, Alifika. So we sat kind of phone and we went to my that <laughs> No, it, everyone has those relationships. Hey. So and so I I'd had a tough year. So I, I was just nilikotuna I'm just mean mko many one will give me stress na mweka sando. Yeah, so ilikuwa ni so ni video, Zibar. ni video. I think we had recorded Raha. Ira ina kwa na mbwembwe mingi sana. <laughs> like Ata, working, ata record, ni shida. As, as, as people who are in a relationship is hard. Ilikuwa ni shida. Video ilikuwa na kufanya hapa Kenya. Sita kufanya video? Yeah. I said now, let me, what's the video? Ana, tunalifanya hata video na ye. Ana, tunalifanya yo. Zanzibar, is it a plan? Oh my god, hey, Zanzibar, it's a plan. Nikajua, it's gonna be a plan. So yeah, sisi ni wakina nani? Utembe walikatoa check. Ikabeba seven ziote. Zanzibar. It was fun. Our it was fun. Yeah. We had fun. Like talk about excess fun. Mm. Our excess fun. Ilikuwa poa sana. So okay. we we went slopped um uh on the shores of you know Indian or Atlantic? I don't know. Man, yeah. we look like idiots. We don't know which one. But anyway, it was in Zanzibar. It was in Zanzibar. Yeah, so we should, we should probably in... name the baby Zanzibar. <laughs> should we? I remember I told him if I don't get pregnant here, you're not fertile. Uh, <laughs> anyway, we are going to Zanzibar. Of course, uh, to shoot uh, Raha, everything was Raha, 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 Raha,
Uh, the video is going on where it has its own miss, you know, um, hiccups. <laughs> but still, <laughs> that, at the end of the day, tuna, eh, tuna, tuna fight na director. Naenda na mtuliza. Alikuwa na pressure na mtuliza. So we we moved from we moved from Zanzibar to catch a ship. It's not a boat. It's a ship. <laughs> it is a boat. It's a ship. ship. The ship is huge, baby. It was a boat. Ah, it's not a boat. Uh, I remember it was. was it's called Zanzibar One boat. We went to Tanzania like we're just living our best life. Yes. We went to TZ. We took the best house. Man. Yani bonge la yani we're just having fun. What wangu hizo ni tips muna pewa. Sometimes. Okay, Lanziba. Akiwa kichongumu. Peleka ya Zanzibar. Yaani it was so much fun. We stayed in that house. Mm. Wakaniacha TZ uh, because you had errands. Mm. I also had errands here and yeah, there. Yeah. So, wakaenda after the night then as we, we we went back mm. again. Imagine we na kaya ta to traveling wengi hivyo. Tulikuwa wengi eh. Tulikuwa wengi like it was wengi. A, but it was amazing. It was amazing. Cuz we needed the team. Yeah, we went down on our official trip. But at the same time because you know fun. we had that chemistry na bado kulikuwa na hiyo relationship inaendelea so. Yeah. Um tulikuwa tuna mix kazi jamani msi mix kazi na hizi vitu ni kwa dangerous. Sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, fast forward I think um It was so I had we we received a booking when we came back to Kenya release Raha and that's when we confirmed our relationship because we thought it was high time you know we've already been through it all mm. so we confirmed our relationship on social media there was a lot of things people said oh this is a public publicity stunt you guys are trying to you know um just clout mm. so many things that people like to say but we didn't comment because we we don't have to to makes up anyone believe mm. we just we do our thing so we released the song raha has really been doing so well mm-hmm. then we got a booking for the u.s yes. we're supposed to go actually perform for what is the name of the before band? that before the booking mm-hmm. now you started feeling funny the other car feeling again it's a good attention no, it's the booking because your books map emma oh yeah Yeah. yeah. So we were booked my pema so me I was excited I was going to the US. Mm. So I'm trying to put my I just my business no in to make office for the first time because I got my office first of June mm. 7th I mean. So nilikuwa na jibu kwa kazi zangu vizuri. Then after that to confirm we're going to the US. I wasn't supposed to go to tour. Mm. Just go to big show to Rudi. Mm. After to confirm it it can't go feel funny. I went to the hospital. It was uh 20 28. You, you were in ha, how I broke the news to this man over here. Mhm. One more is inside. Tell them. <laughs> We're the them. best. <sighs> We're the best. Sometimes how did you break the news? You sent me the text. I I I la touch Ala touch every Oh, si jaribu, lakini sawa. Ala touch receipt. Yeah, she sent the text. I, I I was just being moody for that thing. So mm. I sent him, "Hey, I'm pregnant." He replied after an hour. He read Akanyeka on on red. Then he said, "Okay." Yeah, he said, time. "Okay." Not even wow. Okay. Not even an emoji. Okay, yeah, okay. Naweza sema kitu pia. Okay, at that time I was on the flight to Kisumu. Yeah? Uh the time I'm landing like this, unajua kikaribia ku land, my text inaanza kuingia. Ah uh, zikaanza kuingia ama the airport. Nikaona hiyo message hata nika eh hey, ikanipiga butua. Nikaeka simu kwanza kwa mfuko. Kamalizana na airport, tukaanza kuchukulua nikiwa kwa gari. I remember at that time there was just a lot going to in my mind because we had just been from Yeah, we were breaking up for from real. An, goja. Watch a breakup. Do you know what went through my mind? To go to make go you may go through miscarriage. So the first pregnancy can that can hit. Oh my god, we're here again. Is it gonna be okay again? Ama tunaenda kurudi tena cause. Kwa hiyo safari kitu nimekuwa niki nikiogopa ni you go through what you went through last time. Cause in the corner of your moment, you look on him. 
break point yetu mimi na wewe kwanza moso ya uh, kwa zondo ulikuwa unaipitia first time una, yani una feel kwa mwili so ni kwa nasema no 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 i think it's it's just too soon for us to go through that again so kabla ni ni patio courage ya kukujibu ni kwa tuna kujibu nikisema ni yani niliambia Mungu kama umeleta hii tena tafadhali make it real manje acha tufike kileleni tufike time yenye pia tunaweza shika mtoto ndio nikaanza kumtext nikamwambia okay message ilifuata nikamwambia i love you that's it but you said i love you out of nowhere yeah of course at that time tulikuwa tume break up so tulikuwa tu tu zimekuwa mingi tumekuwa na break ups mingi sana <laughs> no it's a break up like that was after we we tumetoka Zanzibar i was still going through you know the process so nilikuwa tu nilikuwa pia nataka tu ni focus on my thing unajua mtu mwingine unaanza one thing that love brings is blame game ni fault yako ni fault yangu yani kuna hizo ma back and forth so the reason why i think your time to lead got me break up which is i think it's normal cuz we need to show people like if if you survive child loss or, or miscarriage and you still with your partner then then you could actually need a break and you know kwa sababu kulikuwa tuna vitu mingi yani oh. hata watu wa, pia wanakujaza vitu mm-hmm. kwa wakoaje mm-hmm. kwetu pia tukoaje like yani it's, it's a lot of of, of things <laughs> <laughs> in your head and so I do well like who does I'm back on over thing we are not going to be suspicious son no you know it's things that people go shoe loss and una over think yeah, kila mtu ana blame wenzake mimi nilikuwa na blame nilikuwa na blame yana ana ka stress mingi kwa kichwa hiyo hiyo time sasa ameanza ku shoot kama video 20 yani kasema undi amefanya mtoto yani but at the end of the day yeah we when i think going to therapy and letting nature take its course mm. has has been very very helpful in True, in, in making sure that we take this journey one day at a time mm-hmm. so um immediately we broke the news he came to my house then kama kawaida aka aka kuja kaanza hapo na plans zake nyingi then tukaanza tu kujipanga ah hey that was now the beginning of of fire that we that we went to the hospital 28 we went to RFH um we went to the ruak the ruaka branch the ruaka ruaka i always want ruaka the ruaka branch RFH and that's when we met we have we've had Victor who was my or oh, my former nurse yes so Victor and ali ali watch a lavender ta tawasaidi i think Victor had traveled yeah so lavender who's been our caregiver yeah tukapata na eh as as always the privacy and stuff mm and let me tell you so we got out there the hospital was so happy yeah to confirm kweli hii kitu iko 6 months you know pregnant yeah to confirm and you know it was hmm. it was amazing hapo hivyo tushatangaza msimamo so tena msimamo mwingine imeshajisimamisha huko mimi the previous day 27 i think i've had two situations i lost my my biggest client and supporter one of my employees ali ali gongesha a brand new jeep ali wana fa kurudisha gari kwa the client kwa yard a brand new jeep akagongesha <laughs> yani mashida ndo sasa zikaanza ku so debt ikabaki ya shilingi ngapi over half a million 675000 mm. So that was the beginning now of nikaanza kuona mtihani na inaniambata stress tena stress stress and I'm, I, 27th it was a sunday uh we went we, we were 30th on me 28th we went to the hospital that's when I, I confirmed I was pregnant so imagine i have a debt no umembona mimba uko na debt uko na debt of 675000 so we we, we traveled to the US yes we were booked for some uh, for for a show in states na your time pia because you know uh, the vibe was incorrect tulikuwa tunagomba na kila saa mimi nikaambia i think my management i didn't know uh, aka aka suggest we be on the different flights 
imagine that's not what happened what happened was nilikuwa nimebukiwa a flight mbele yako no for real i just uh, fracas mm-hmm. and that's what he told me kweli i told i asked me why why didn't you guys uh, it was the pregnancy home uh, book us on the same flight i said no but my your manager said you guys can't travel together so sam nimekuanika wondo lifanya sikuwa na mrembo wangu pale but anyway it was even a wise decision now bebe bifa hapa why ilikuwa ni wise decision cuz hata yatungefika us tungekuwa tumekosa sana tungekosa sana okay so I yeah uh, same day to kaland sometimes mnachukua gavi to so neutral i'm pregnant like men in general i'm pregnant i'm trying to di- digest you know i'm pregnant again she didn't know niki, niki, i mean uh, my, niki, my manager niki, didn't know niki, niki put away kidogo hapana men kasiriki hapana saki kwenda na it, it shouldn't be like that no um like me at a sequana issue because i remember i stayed in turkey for a stop of i don't have no wifi yeah sasa kai hivi kwa airport na angalia tu watu wakipita i look so stupid sasa hii time yote ie sama kwa najua chochote mimi sama hata alikuwa anajua hata tukirudiana so book kwa sababu kwa sababu kwa sababu ndo ni ndo niteseke na wewe uko na jua uko na bora sio hivyo sama alikuwa anajua mimi na wewe tumekuwa sana sama kwa anajua remember everything was private si kwa mwambia mtu wote uko na mimba so si kwa nataka ku justify sam um, na hata kwa api ya end alikuwa anaongea na na promoter this one i came to know it nikiwa state niliuliza fracas the promoter that was wrong mm. nikauliza so, promoter yeah, niliteseka mimi ku travel peke yangu nikauliza promoter weeks, six weeks pregnant akasema oh you guys No. Kwa... Si kwa hata na ubana hata sidhani mimi na wewe tulikuwa tumetimiko sana. We just maybe vibe ile tu yenye mnakuaruzana kidogo juu. I'm just petty during that time. Mhm. Mlinko sasa. Ah, saa pole. So tukafika US. <laughs> ah. How was the show? Man. Let me tell you something. Oh my god. That was the hardest. This was my first tour. And it has to be the hardest. I think me and you know how to hide stuff. Yes. We know how to hide stuff. Yes. So we'd go to place why why are you not taking cocktails? And could ele peer pressure. Chukua tu cocktails kidogo nini hivyo. Mhm. You don't know how no I I I just don't drink. <laughs> I, I just I just don't drink. Uh. Wow, you're such an amazing woman. Mm. I know. Oga jua ni mtu. <laughs> so it was so it was why why so it was hard and my my tour manager is a guy mm-hmm. he's very serious <laughs> he's very serious so there are times I'm not going to kid but I'm not in a position to because of how my body that's why I said in my previous episode being a female artist yani you just need emotionally supportive people yeah cuz Pia during the f- I was not eating nilikuwa na shindwa na chakula I lost weight nilikuwa na kali kama niko mimi ni mgonjo mtu akidhiri every time America kuna kidhiri imagine oi hey this is hey. weird food aversions I mean in America hey. we stayed there for two months I'm not eating anything like chakula too with weird taste cheese anything with cheese I don't because I don't I don't know where me sit I'm sick I don't want anything with cheese. I don't want anything with a lot of spices. It was it was hard. Touring, so hard. performing dead to state yo kuzunguka. Nime beat. I'm I'm have more morning sickness na ni 4 p.m. Na hiyo situation ni mimi peke yake najua. Manzo ukiona deva kwa mimba vumilia. Eh Sijui watu wana behave hivyo ama Hata mimi am nice. Ama ni uh, lakini wewe ni a girl toto. Mimi si girl toto. A girl toto. It's because I just I just want to treat what we do. That's why I'm not feel hivyo. It was Apana. for me the US tour was amazing but at the same time it was wow one hour performances. Let's tell you mine. Yeah but you're so strong. Where in heels dancing. Eh 
dancing. When I when I when I came back, I was four months. Really? Four or five. Because mm. I shot Legeza when I was six months. Mm. But uh, it was a crazy, it was a crazy, crazy, crazy tour. It was my first tour and but at some point, like, can I be away? Quit. Ali can so show she had she had I just had to come to back. Come, man. I had to come back because I was like crazy. Intend a kufa, I'm a intend a tenor ni and a go he too. Near the could you blame? I'm a nepotize. I'm to eat and a name the could you blame? I just had to cancel shows and could I let show nil go and a feel he in Lima and in a feel na pambana. It was it was really hard. I won't lie.